So Tony, as you know, the club are doing a weekly series where we ask players to name their best 11s of people they've played with. Um, you've got the honour of going first, so talk to your team. Right, um, number one, this, is, uh, this was a very easy choice for me. Uh, current England captain, Alistair Cook. Um, doesn't really need any, any much reasoning, rather than uh, England's leading run scorer, fantastic player, unbelievable uh, mental strength. Um, and just yeah, a, a really good guy to go with it as well. Um, he'll be the captain as well, so I'll put it all. See you next to him. Um, I think a very good foil for for Cookie is my choice at number two, and that's um, well, Derbyshire overseas player Martin Guptill. Um, Guppy is one of the cleanest strikers of a cricket ball I've ever seen. I mean, really, just an unbelievable player. Played some of the most amazing innings. I mean, he got 200 last year um, against Gloucester, and it was a phenomenal innings. And, and I think with Cookie sort of playing the anchor role, he will be able to attack. So that um, gives him uh, a sort of free reign, which he enjoys. Um, number three, um, a legend of the game, uh, another former Derbyshire OCs, Shiv Chanderpaul. So, um, I mean, a record that speaks for itself. Thousands and thousands of first-class runs, test runs. Um, again, someone who you'd, you'd pay to bat for your life. He's a fantastic player, a, a model pro. I mean, always in the hall practicing, um, and another great guy to go with it. He uh, he had a real positive influence on a lot of guys uh, in his time at Derby. Uh, number four, um, a current um, international, um, and he all, I played with him at Essex and at Derby. Um, Hashim Amla. Um, another fantastic player, uh, seam spin, can open the batting in one day cricket, bat middle order in test cricket, um, phenomenal record, just scores runs all over the world um, and, and um, it was amazing with the guys here last season when he talk, talking to the young batters, so just someone who would you know, really look after the young guys in the team and um, another, uh, another really good guy. Um, five, got um, Andy Flower. Um, Obviously, ex Zimbabwe captain, probably the best player of spin I ever saw. Um, left hander as well, but just a, a, another phenomenal player, ridiculous record. In a, in a Zimbabwe team that wasn't the best, he sort of carried them through and he was number one batsman in the world when he was playing for Zimbabwe. And then when he came to Essex, he was another model pro. He's then gone on to have a, a, a great career uh, as a coach as well. Um, so he's my number five. This number six was. I sort of switched and changed. I mean, there was three guys who were candidates for this spot. Um, one was Andy's brother Grant, who I played with, was a fantastic player, an another amazing player of spin, bold left arm spin. Um, Wes Durston, who's currently obviously at Derbyshire, um, fantastic batsman, up the order in one day cricket and middle order in first class cricket, and bowls, um, good off spin. I did go for our current skipper, though, Wayne Madsen, just for his consistency. Um, I think this season was his third season of a thousand runs at Derby. Um, another great player of spin, great all-round player, um, good cricket brain, another fantastic guy. Um, so he's my number six. Uh, number seven, the wicketkeeper. Um, this was pretty easy for me, James Foster. Um, I mean, hands down, the best gloveman I ever saw. Um, very good batsman as well, underrated batsman. I think he averages about 35 in first-class cricket. Um, in one day cricket, can play all the shots, um, good player of spin, and um, a, another model pro, someone who, who's you know trains harder than anyone. But uh, James Foster, fan, fantastic keeper there um, with the gloves. Um, now onto the bowling attack. Um, at eight, I've got. I played with this guy at Essex when he was very young, um, but he had raw, raw pace. Was very quick and has now refined himself into being one of the best bowlers in the world and, and one of the best bowlers of all time really, Dale Stain. Um, doesn't, maybe doesn't bowl as quick as he used to now, but he's still very quick, but um, now he's just refined himself, he's more skillful, can bowl, takes wickets on all surfaces and got a, a, an amazing record. Uh, number nine, um, an England legend, um, Darren Goff, who basically carried England attack along with Andy Caddick for years uh, when England weren't winning a lot of games. Uh, Goffey was always someone who, who was always 
take wicket. Someone I watched growing up. Um, fantastic bowler. And when he was at Essex, he um, he really looked after me and especially, but looked after all the younger guys. Was never too big, and you know, someone who's done it all still had time for a lot of the players, so which was amazing um, for me growing up watching him. Um, at number ten, um, a guy I played with at Essex, um, probably one of the sort of nastiest bowlers I've ever played with, um, Dave Masters. Um, doesn't have the pace of the other two above him, but makes up for it with his skill. Um, used to get left-handers out for a pastime. A, a very, very good bowler. Um, takes wickets every season. Um, he's getting on a bit now, but he, uh, for years, for a good pit chunk when he was at Essex, he was taking 60, 70, 80 plus wickets every season for Essex. Consistency, um, um, really good guy as well. You know, chatted with the young bowlers. So another uh, great bowler. And number 11, um, someone who's just actually left Derbyshire. I wish him well, um, but I mean, the past two or three seasons I've been playing with him more. Um, he's produced some of the most devastating spells I've ever seen. Uh, Mark Footit. Um, hopefully you'll um, get an England call up soon. But Footy's, uh, I mean, left arm as well gives you that variation, swings it, bowls good pace, um, and can just destroy top order um, when it's his day. So um, Mark Footit goes in there at number 11. And certainly some big names in that lineup. You mentioned Wes Durston, you mentioned Grandfather. Anybody else unlucky to miss out there? Uh, I've played with some, yeah, some good bowlers. Um, I mean, Andy Bickle was someone who could have gone in there. He, he, I played with him at Essex. Alex Tudor. Um, and in the batters, batters uh, Chiteshwar Pujara, I mean, was, was um, obviously someone who's, who came in the derby and, and did really well. Um, also, uh, Tillicrati Dilshan, obviously a legend of the game as well. We played with him last year. But um, this, yeah, it took me a little bit of time, but I think um, this is this is a nice settled team now, and, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it.